Hello, have you ever wondered why there are certain fixed number of species in a given ecosystem? For example, there are only given number of tigers in a forest ecosystem, there will be larger number of deers and even more than that there will be trees. So, do you think there is a kind of relationship between greater number of trees, lower than that there will be herbivores that will be feeding upon those trees and there will be just one or two or maybe very limited numbers of tigers. For example, it is said, uh, I mean uh, documentary evidences suggest that it needs 78 square kilometers for a tiger to survive, to nourish, to you know uh, grow properly. So, there are certain species in a given for ecosystem, it could be forest ecosystem, aquatic ecosystem, irrespective of the kind, the in, in a ecosystem, there are certain species that plays a, plays a very pivotal role, very important role. And we have given them a name known as keystone species. For To uh, fully understand this, you must have seen this architectural component, which is known as arc. In this particular arc, if you talk about this particular stone, this stone, you will be surprised to know two things about this stone. First, this stone is under the least amount of pressure. So, the least pressure is faced by this stone, this particular stone make it more clear, I am talking about this one, the number one, first point and second point, if you remove this stone, the entire arc structure will collapse. So, the presence of this stone is extremely, extremely important. This stone is known as keystone. In the same concept, there are certain species in an ecosystem which are keystone species. So, there are several examples. Let us take an example which, which is very evident and uh, which is very recent. In the south coast of the west coast, I mean west coast, this is a case study by the way of Florida, there is a water body where a huge amount of kelp this is kelp, highly used in companies which are in cosmetic industries and uh, this you can see this particular kelp in food also. So, the sushi roll that you eat is made up of a different kind of actually kelp. So, these are some uh, plant like, I would say ribbon like structure that is present inside a water body and a number of species of organism are totally dependent on their existence. So, what happened here is that there is an aquatic organism which is known as sea urchin. Sea urchin. What they do? They destroy the entire forest of this kelp. So, if the kelp is destroyed, if the kelp is destroyed, all the other organisms which are dependent upon this particular kelp will also be destroyed. So, the entire aquatic ecosystem will start to suffer. So, for this, there is another organism which is known as sea otters. So, this are sea otters. So, sea otters keeps the population of sea urchin in check. So, what happened in the west coast of Florida, this is a case study, for their fur which is sold in the market and it is very costly, they were almost hunted down. So, no sea otter were present and because of that, the population of sea urchin increased, causing almost devastatingly reduction in the 
population of this kelp and along with kelp other species also get removed they get removed why because the entire habitat were, was destructed so as you can see the absence of one organism how devastated the entire ecosystem so in the this particular case study I have, I have you know discussed it at length where again the sea otters were introduced they again started feeding on sea urchin kelp forest got a chance to grow again all the lost species came back so these kind of species are known as keystone species there are there are various kind of species and we'll discuss every one of them with proper examples i'll see you in the lectures thank you